Yeah? 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 Last night? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And mom? Yeah? Look what I did. Baby. We're going to fly to Seattle. What's Seattle? <gasps> We're going to Seattle? No. Oh. Um, look. I put my hair in a braid last night and look what it did. It, like, it looks really cute. It like looks really cute. I like it. Have you guys brushed your teeth? Mm-hmm. Cody? Yes, I did. Cody did, but I don't, I'm not sure about Boston. Okay, Boston, I, I know you've I had breakfast, so what, Boston, go down and brush your teeth. I've never had breakfast. Mom. I have not. Okay, thank you. And then Boston, make sure your bed's made. Me. Cody, did you make your bed? Boston. Yes. I have a workout story time for you guys. I talked to the first girl in my class, which is a big deal because the first day that I walked in and everyone just kind of looked at me and didn't talk to me, I felt super uncomfortable. So when she talked to me, I was like, all right. Okay, so this is why we were talking. Let me show you. So we were doing this workout where, let me just move all my kids' snow clothes. Mom. I'll show you. So you're supposed to, here, Cody, come sit on my feet so I can do this. Now in class, you don't have anyone sitting on your feet. So I'm going to demonstrate what the workout was supposed to be. So sit on my feet, Cody. Sit on my feet. <laughs> I was hoping the other way they would straddle my feet, but that's okay. Okay, so you were supposed to. Oh, oh, okay, scoot over. Move, lady. Move, move, move. Lady. Oh, she thinks it's playtime. Okay, no. Okay. So we were supposed to sit up all on our own and punch, punch. And that was without someone on your feet. Okay, hop up. <laughs> and I was doing a little number like this. <gasps> kind of like that. We did that like 500 times. And I was so embarrassed because not one other person had a problem keeping their feet on the ground. Or they didn't have to do like a hiya to like get up off the ground. And so, so then by the end, okay, so then by the end, I was so embarrassed, I couldn't do any more grunts, and so I just sat and did these <laughs> instead. <laughs> and so, anyway, so that's that, and at the end of class, like, I waited until most of the girls left. There was only a couple, like, onesie, twosie left, and I was like, <clears throat> excuse me, instructor. Um, <laughs> And the way I'm doing the sit-up part, I said, will I eventually get stronger and be able to do it how everyone else is doing it? And she was like, oh yeah, as long as you're not like being spastic <laughs> with your muscles. She said, be very focused what you're doing, um, concentrated and go slow. And yes, you will gain that muscle and balance so that you'll be able to do it. And one of the girls walked past from the class and she said, just give your body grace. She said, you'll get stronger. I genuinely was like, oh, like a little lump. I was like, okay, thank you. And it made me feel really good. It made me feel really good that I talked to my first girl, that um, the class thinks I'm gonna get stronger. It was really good. So anyway, I felt really good leaving my workout class. And it feels good to start my day this way. So I'm gonna finish getting you kitties to school, yeah? Can I just can I just see a nice smile? Can I see a smile from you, please? Can I aw see? So handsome, shy guy. Bossy, can I get just a little smile? Oh, oh wow, and a hug, are you joking me? Hey, I just wanted a smile. You said you'd give me a smile, give me a smile. Please, a, like, Cody gave me the best one. Let me just see. Oh, so, God, do you guys know? So many, so many people are going to start their day. They're making fun of me behind the camera. You little punks. Okay. They're giving the camera bunny ears now. What I was gonna say is you just started a lot of people's day with a smile. Can you start everyone's day with a smile? Oh my gosh. Can we tell everyone that we're their friends even if no one talks to them in a class or at work or where else? And it, a family party, heaven <laughs> forbid. Um, where you are. We can be your friends, okay guys? That was a smile from the Holines to start your morning. Well, Cody's showing off. That's what I was supposed to do. No, you gotta do punches at the end. See, that's about what, see, that's what I looked like. That's what I looked like in class. Punch, punch, good job! 
Yeah, that's about how much feet was showing at my on my end. Oh, my backpack is so heavy. It's like, <laughs> it has water bottles, six books, and a pair of shoes, and it's heavy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you guys what the plan is today, so you guys know. Boston. Today at one o'clock, we're having okay. the spot in your arm. Okay. We're gonna go to the dermatologist to get it this squeezed morning, out. Me and Cody found a new one on me. Show me. There's no. like. That's right. Look, there's one right, right there. Do you know what? We'll show the doctor and we'll ask him what they are. But we think Boston has a boil. Oh, yeah. We think he has a boil on his arm. It's a boil. So we'll, I'll show you guys up close later. It's a boil. Just a skin thing. Like a very large zit with a sack. Or a cyst. It could be a cyst because it might have a sack. Okay. Um, we're going to the dermatologist at one. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me, mom. No, no, no. Say bless you, mom. Bless you, mom. Oh, thank you. Okay, um, and then after that, I'm going over to Ellie's at 10 o'clock to do work for Bali, which you guys will be at school. You'll be at school. Okay, at 3.15, when we're done with our appointment, you and you and daddy are going to go get haircuts. Hey, do you know what? You shouldn't feel sad about it. He's the guy that can do, oh, yeah. um, yeah, he's like, yeah. can do zigzags on your head. So you can tell him anything you want and he'll do it. Okay. Think about what you want on your hair and he'll do it, okay? Like a knife. No, no, no. Okay. Um, not a school. And then, Olivia, at 4 o'clock, you have singing. You guys are going to sing in sacrament meeting. Oh. You and your friends are going to sing in sacrament, so her mom is going to teach Wait, you the next song. next week? Like, in a month. Okay, that's the plan. Oh, and then we all have piano lessons, so be excited for that. We'll see. We'll see how you behave today, okay? No, no, if I'm, if I'm good at the doctor's okay, I'm gonna go. We'll see how you behave today. <laughs> okay, that's the day and break. Yay. Did you hear Layla? She was like, oh, okay, what about me? Wait, what are you doing? You don't want to show them? Well, I do, but I also don't. Why? Tell me why you wouldn't. Tell me. School. Why? Oh, school. Yeah, school. Yeah, it's like a school. But people at school see your nails. school. Oh, school? But people at school see your nails. Okay, so you have these beautiful nails on, which I'll link yeah. in the description. She's mixing so two you. different boxes. So do you. Thank you. Um, and I have a handstand. What are you hands going to do for piano tonight? You know. can't have nails on for piano. I can take them off. They're really easy to get off. Man, the camera just never does it justice. You can't see the mountains at all. You can kind of see, you see the neighbor's houses pretty well, but it is coming down like crazy. Like it's coming down so hard you can hear it hitting the snowflakes out there. That is some heavy, heavy weather. We're gonna watch how long this takes to uh, to snow. We're supposed to get one to three inches today. We'll see what it does. Oh my gosh, bud, that looks just like you. You can't see it very good. Yep, looks about the same smile, nose, face, arms, belly button. And shoes. Good job, bud. It, you meant socks. Oh, socks. I'm sorry. Okay. I was trying to vlog myself so I didn't have to step on the snow. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to go. Ew. It's going to be late. Let's go. to Ellie's house today and it wasn't snowing and there wasn't snow on the ground and now you can see well maybe you can see the depths you see how can I show you the depths I got a of the snow on the GoPro lady. They already know. what yeah. I'm like trying not to step in the deep snow so my ankles don't get covered I'm gonna clear this so my husband can see as he drives <sighs> oh good, that's fun. But well, you gotta always do the door jam, don't you know that? Nope, I've lived in Utah for 34 years and I still forget that every time. Door jam is the most important thing. Let's go. Um, yeah right, there is no speeding off when it comes to the snow. You will slide oh, directly. Look, look at the roads. Look at the roads. This is amazing. 
feels so fun. Okay. I love how quiet it is. Like yeah. Well, the snow makes it so you cannot hear. It absorbs all, all sound. sound. And so when you were digging out your four wheeler, and I was just ten a ten minute it's trek. It took me about 10 minutes to walk to you each time. It would take like two seconds on dirt. Right, and I would yell. You couldn't hear a word I was saying. And anytime I would yell something, I was like, well. Good thing you can't hear me. <laughs> it wasn't nice. Um, I When we go running in the morning, like normally you'll hear a little bit of quiet because it's in the morning, but like it's eerily quiet when it's snowing. It's just oh, so I'm calm sure. and peaceful and I love it. Boston, why did you want dad to come? Because he's my dad. Do you like him? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think all the snow means good luck. Is it okay with you if we show them a before and after but we won't show in the doctor's office? Yeah. So, let me get a little closer for everybody. This is what it looks like. I wish you could feel up close because there's a surrounding hardness all the way around this that extends out to about there. Um, so we'll see what the doctor says. My guess is that it's either a boil or a cyst. Yep, that's what I think it is, but we'll see what he says. Maybe it's a really long ingrown hair. <laughs> Could be. I don't think you should be so nervous. I'm scared it will feel like last time. Like last time Thank when you. I did it? So I tried popping this softly. I didn't go crazy. And it hurt, didn't it? And it hurt the next day, didn't it? That's why we brought you here. They know just what they're doing. And they're going to take really good care Did of you. Did you know what you were doing? Um, <laughs> it's debatable. <laughs> no, I didn't. I kind I mean, I if, if it was, no, I didn't know what I was doing. They do, and so it'll go a lot better. It still might hurt. It still might hurt. It might hurt a lot. Or it might hurt a little. I've never had it done, so I don't know. But you'll feel it. It might hurt a little, and it even might hurt a lot. So we're gonna go in knowing that, and we're gonna just be as brave as we can. Is that a deal? Okay. And I know you're just really strong, so you'll be okay. I promise. Okay? You are so handsome and brave. old YouTube, we would have filmed that whole thing and it would have been amazing. <laughs> but we didn't and I think that it's actually a really good thing. I think that it has helped us to know boundaries. <laughs> um, right, Joel? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's okay to say? Yeah. Um, the doctor thought that it was too hard to squeeze any fluid out and he wasn't even sure if we'd be able to do it today that he lanced it, he had to go in three times to lance it, and guys, there was fluid. Lots of yellow fluid. And Boston, he shaked a little at first, but he pressed his body into the table, and I could not have been more proud. He cried just a little bit, you want me to show him your paper? <laughs> no. He has some tears on his little paper pillow. Do you want to know who got lightheaded and almost passed out? Put the camera on you, Joel. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't this guy. I always sweat profusely when... Who had to have a fruit snack and water? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I just really wanted the fruit snack and water. And I knew that if I perspired, I would get one. Guess who was the absolute champion. Boston did so good. I, he was the strongest little tank sitting on that table. And the doctor said that there was a lot more in there that came out than he expected to. So, good job, Bossy. Good job. There's just a, can you come show the big band-aid? There's underneath, there's just one little lamps spot where they had to. And by little, like, that thing went in like probably that deep every time. No. Like it was a really pointy blade, but it went in pretty deep. And he, I mean, it was pretty like Aww. aggressive. And what's crazy is he wasn't like, 
wrestling your arm. He wasn't, no. he didn't have a grip on his arm at all. Boston just held his arm still. Yeah. That was amazing, bud. You're Can you use that? Um, don't show over there, Joe. Um, I don't think they, the one that they used, I think He took um, the one that he used. Yeah. So. It was like that, like thing. No. That's, uh -uh. that's for warts. Yep. He was worried that he was going to have to use that thing that they used for warts, but mm -hmm. he didn't. So I think we're going to close the vlog here because nothing is going to trump this moment. I've never been so proud. I have never been so proud. He did so good. I'm a little embarrassed that Joel got lightheaded and pale. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast. I think it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, Boston, I love you. Was it as, okay, was it as bad as you thought? It wasn't. This is your tough guy. So if you guys ever have to go to the doctor, be extra brave. I told Joel, I even cry when I go to the dentist. Still. Mm -hmm. So you did amazing, buddy. I don't usually call my kids buddy. That kind of was weird. <laughs> you did amazing, Mr. Wade. Mr. Wade. <laughs>